Welcome, Climate Viewers. Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com. It's Sunday, y'all. Um, so a couple of you may have noticed uh, last week, I think it was Thursday, I made a video about things you're not allowed to talk about on YouTube anymore. Um, I mean, in reality, the entire video was pretty much about censorship. But I mentioned a certain medical type thing that you're really not allowed to talk about anymore. And I even heard the news lately that climate related things may be censored on YouTube in the near future. So kind of having to rethink all this stuff. But regardless, um, well, let's just show you. You know, this type thing happened. Um, actually, let me get that out of the way. No, that's not good. That'll work for now. Um, yeah, so they, they, they really didn't like, um, like my video. Um, and, uh, you know, I did submit a P and an appeal, um, but that didn't go so well either. And I think you could tell by, um, what's on the screen and we'll just leave it at that. Cause I'm not even going to read it. Cause it'll probably get me banned. But regardless if this video will probably be, uh, be appearing on, uh, an alternative, um, media source in the near future. Um, so I will be, uh, going on rumble and odyssey and a couple more, um, for those who aren't members of the Discord chat, I'm going to bring that up real quick. Uh, let's just uh, fire away on that thing. Uh, chat, no, right, chat. Okay, we'll bring this over here. Let me bring up Climate Viewer. For those who haven't actually ever been to the Climate Viewer chat, um, we have a Discord chat. And, um, you can get in here and, uh, you know, get in on the, the fun, have conversations. Um, many different, uh, climate viewers talking about this. Of course, I, you know, dropped the bombshell about, you know, the video, you know, the stuff that was covered in the video and all that. Um, and, you know, I straight up asked everybody, Hey, you know, where, where all should I go? Um, let me see where it was. You know, of course, I put out, I have an announcement channel for those who don't know about this stuff. And when I make announcements, you know, it goes out to everybody that's in the chat. Um, and I mentioned that the video was censored and that I would be going to other places to, you know, upload that. Um, links to my, you know, different social media stuff. Uh, if you're new to Discord and you've never tried this before, I suggest you try it. Um, the link is in the um, details. Um, just go to the link tree, as you can see here, and you know, hit yep. This is the same thing you would see if you're um, clicking the link. It's in the details of this video right now. Um, what's up to Norma? See me? Dag Dagger spells this makes me think of. Um, Daggerfall. It's that uh, the Elder Scrolls game. Um, Chinook Valley. Hey, how's it going, girl? Um, Joseph Buck in the house. Mr. Smith. Appreciate y'all. Um, I went. The reason why the, the stream took so long to start is because I went and I shared it everywhere. Something I rarely ever do, but you know, if you're gonna have a chat, you know, you might as well do some chatting. Um, right? Is it? Is it actually from Daggerfall? <laughs> the Elder Scrolls. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, what I, instead of, you know, getting bogged down with a hundred YouTube videos that, um, end up having old links in them. And then I'm, I'm going to have to go back through like 380 videos, some 400 videos and, um, basically, you know, change all the links and stuff. So, um, instead of doing that, I'm just going to go with something like this for now. I may ch end up changing this and coding it myself and putting it on climate viewer, but that way they're all in one place. So you can actually see my three websites, my YouTube channel. Um, for those who aren't subbed, who are new, you know, 
clearly please hit that subscribe button. Um, liking the videos is great, but leaving comments basically hacks the algorithm. So leave you know some comment, lengthy comment, any comment. Love it. Um, we're still going to use YouTube if you get where get my drift. Um, but regardless, that's just going to have to be the way it is for now. Um, and then obviously, you know, my old, old school, um, Orwellian, uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, but right here it says chat and that's the discord link. And that'll actually get you into the discord. Um, and you, you know, this is actually an app. You can get the app on your phone also. And what you also do is you're guaranteed to get an update whenever I make a new video, like the one that was deleted. So um, there's a video channel here. When I do interviews on other shows, they're in the interviews channel. Like when I was on um, Tinfoil Hat with Sam Tripoli, you can get an update on that, um, you know, and past things like when I'm on with Clyde Lewis and all of that, they're all in one place. So that's the purpose of the chat. Um, and you know, all of my latest videos, they automatically just get uploaded here. So you never miss an update. Um, cause you can't, t you can't trust the algorithm. You can't trust the, the notification system, click the bell, hit all. Um, but you can't, you know, you can't guarantee that that's going to work. How you about that life. <laughs> I love y'all's names, man. This is cool. What's up? Wait. Um, so yeah, please try get in the chat. But um, like I said, you know, I mentioned that you know the last video got censored, and um, you know, some people were asking, are you going to upload to other platforms? I said, um, Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, and possibly Rockfin. Any other suggestions? So you know, let me know any other suggestions. Uh, leave it in the comment section though. That'd be great. Um. Somebody mentioned Disclose TV here. Uh, I think we got a couple other ones that they mentioned. Um, brand new tube. Anybody familiar with that one? Uh, that, that's brand new to me. Um, and honestly, you can see right here this line. I haven't seen anything past here, so this is news to me. Uh, I'm just going to check the chat real quick. <laughs> Cricket versus Cicada. So somebody's literally like posting about my um, directed energy weapon video I did the other day, the foxhole. Now I did see that. Um, many of you probably know I'm good friends with, uh, quite frankly. And uh, I did see that he had, if y'all, if you guys don't know about quite frankly, quite frankly TV, check him out. Um, I did see that on, yep, there it is, Foxhole. And uh, he's got Clout Hub, uh, Theta.tv. Um, I may be able to start streaming to DLive again. Um, right now, I'm on Streamlabs. Um, and I'm thinking about possibly going back to just doing, um, do not go on the new YouTube, don't. <laughs> okay. Uh brand tube the brand new tube I, I i'll have to look at it later but yeah foxhole looked pretty cool um the only problem i had with i looked at the foxhole thing was that it, there's really no way to like sort through these i mean like it's just a big old freaking mess i mean there's a lot of freaking people in here and i was looking through here and i was like okay um all right well there's quite frankly got it and I brought that up and I was like, well, how do I actually share, you know, what the hell's going on here? And I really don't, I mean, there's a link button here, but all right, share. Okay. Let me see if that actually worked. Share link pilled.net redirecting, redirecting major fail. So that, that's a kind of, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I personally think this is, you know, not the best design. It looks like old ass MySpace, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Right. Um, but regardless, let's just get back into it. So yeah, I got a uh, channel violation. They gave me a no, no slap. 
Um, and I was pretty upset about that. So that's why I've kind of just dove back into coding. I was like, get your job done. Um, I was wanting to make, you know, another video rather soonish. Um, and of course, don't call in, <laughs> even though that, in fact, let's just go ahead and get that off the screen because I'm not taking calls tonight. Um, basically, like, you know, I said, well, focus on getting your website done because I'm so close to being done with weathermodificationhistory.com and I want to get on to working on climateviewer.com because it's getting old, okay? Um, I know, it's it's a what do you do? It's a badge of honor. Um, I've had many slaps in the past. I've got so far as to, um, they only gave me a warning, which is kind of funny because I, I sent them a real nasty gram, um, appeal. And I think that they were like, you know, we're just going to agree to disagree and this will be a warning. But then after the warning, after I appealed it, they're like, "What does? how does this affect your channel? And they're like, well, we won't give you a warning again. <laughs> so it's like, they're just, they're just assholes. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Um, so there, that's that. Okay. Um, but regardless, uh, they gave Mike Morales. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, I saw all the news about, um, you know, the climate change, deniers um being censored on google and youtube and um they could try to slap me in that category because i do not disagree the climate is changing in fact i talk about the climate changers all the time so this is going to be a real weird freaky uh experience and you know what we're going to continue to do this regardless if you guys see me looking over this way it's because i have um Actually, like, you know, this is my my monitors on this side. Oh, yeah. All right. What's up, man? I appreciate you. Uh, Trader Trudeau. Oh, somebody doesn't like Justin. <laughs> Not a Justin fan there. Uh, but I appreciate the sub, dude. Thank you very much. Um, so, you know, I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of where I'm at with this thing. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll just hop back over here. Let's go uh, right here. And um, I'm going to leave the chat up for this one because, like I said, we're chatting today, right? Hey, it's just it's just us, tiny little room, having a little conversation. Um, say whatever you like. Um, <laughs> don't let the YouTube algorithm, you know, eat you up for being, you know, retar you know retarded or racist or whatever. Um but you know, have fun with it. Um, yeah, they they removed geoengineering watch from the Google results. Let's do a little test because this this is what I, I actually covered in my last video, and I'll show you guys exactly the same thing that I did here. So we're gonna do this. A lot of people who watched my last video um, about Facebook whistleblower. Um, at the end of that, I talked about the anatomy of slave speak. Okay, so we're just gonna do this little test. Damn it. Anatomy of slave speak. Five seconds later. Um, so, as you can see here, by the results, boom. No climate viewer. I am not to be found. Okay? Whole lot of stuff. None of these actually have these. Now, I want you guys to know that Frederick Mann, the guy who wrote The Anatomy of Slave Speak, actually reached out to me and said, Jim, you're one of the only people on the whole fucking planet that got what I was actually meaning by what was going on here. So I appreciate that. Um, and you have my full permission to use this from now on. And I was like, sweet. Oh, my God. That's epic. This was years ago. So if you go to Yahoo and you type in The Anatomy of Slave Speak, right there, very first response, the anatomy of slave speak. If you go to bing.com, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, 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 the anatomy of slave speak. Make bing yours. Now I think I don't want to do that. Look at that. Boom. Big old nice pretty pop up. Here, get that out of the way. Look at that. Look at that. Climateviewer.com. Like it's freaking advertised 
Why is it important to understand slave speak? Shut up. It literally quotes my website. I mean, that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Um, now, of course, they've got the, you know, what's called, you know, um, paid for ad for Investor Hub um, at the top. And this is literally just a copy paste on a forum board. But still, the number one response, even on Bing with Microsoft, is climateviewer.com, right? We're all following along here. We see what's going on, right? And bam, look, there's my photo from my article. Um, there's Nigel who worked with me on attention. We made something called Semanticure. It goes way back. We won't get into all that. But regardless, um, pretty neat stuff uh, for, you know, they're just, and that's from my propaganda um, page, which it hosts the Anatomy of Slave Speak. Um, I did the other one, uh, Duck, Duck, Go. That's right. Duck, Duck, Go. $5 for uh, anybody who could tell me what that is. Anybody recognize that chip? Just just testing you. Um, anyway. The Anatomy of Slave Speak, Duck, Duck, Go, boom. And yes, there's photos of my articles and all that. And the very first response is climateviewer.com. So what is the Anatomy of Slave Speak since we're talking about it? Um, as you can see here, uh, kill your television. It trains ignorance. <laughs> um, and this article is put up 2014. And, uh, you know, basically it comes from... Buildfreedom.com was written by Frederick Manns, copyright 1997. And he has this on there, you know, basically this report contains copyright material. You cannot put this anywhere without, per, you know, express written consent. Um, but Jim Lee of Climate of Your News has obtained permission to repost this material via email. Thank you to Frederick Mann for allowing me to repost this amazing work. Be sure to check out the rest of his papers here link to archive.org because everything Frederick Mann was deleted when he died. So Frederick Mann is no longer with us, but we do have this great gift from him about understanding the power of words and mind control. And that's why I wanted to point this out to you guys. And I pointed this out in the video that got deleted. Quick reminder, that thing. Um, that was the beginning of my video. So I'm just going to kind of recreate that for, for shits and giggles. Um, but regardless, I also did the exact same thing because one of the, somebody had commented in a previous video that basically I had not covered on um, the fact that I was shadow banned. And I was like, Oh yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, since I'm making a video about Facebook and, you know, them, you know, being, you know, shadow banning everybody. The video in question, for those who haven't seen it, is uh, right here, Facebook down whistleblower and the January 6th insurrection. And I actually made this video as the fake Facebook whistleblower was testifying in Congress. Um, and, uh, you know, in the nightly news that night, I basically heard everybody saying all the same things I was saying. So, you know, take it for what you will. We, you know, there there maybe it's group thing maybe it's just whatever it's whatever let's just put it that way um but i was talking about this and somebody had literally commented you didn't even mention the fact that you're fit shadow banned on all the social media and i was like oh that's kind of a dir um yeah michelle um i actually mentioned that earlier i am going to odyssey bit shoot rumble and possibly rockfin um I'm going to be like mirroring. So like right now, um, I'm actually streaming this to Facebook uh, or to YouTube, but I've actually, if you guys want to see, I'm actually recording right now at the same time. So every, my last like maybe 10 videos um, have been locally recorded as I'm streaming them. Go away. Um and that way I can have a backup of it. So I do have that last video recorded. I will re-upload it somewhere else. Um, 
and we'll just deal with it that way. Someplace where the TOS doesn't want to eat my lunch. Um, and yeah, Telegram, I'm definitely going to be, you know, Facebook, Twitter, alternatives. I will be going to some of them. Um, what I really need, though, is a way to automate all this so that whenever I go live, because when literally when I'm hitting go live on here, I don't even know the late the link to the YouTube video. Um, and I have to go and grab that and then share it out to all the social media to get the people to come watch the live stream as it's happening. Um, so that's kind of a, a technical hurdle I'm going to get over in the future. Um, but, you know, you, you get in where you fit in and you work with what you can. Also mentioned this in the last video. Some of you may notice that I'm wearing a headset microphone today. That's because my really expensive Yeti X blue voice um, Yeti X um, decided to take a dump on me while I was on the higher side chat with Greg Carlwood. Um, so you guys can look forward to that as well. So yeah, on this, on this whole microphone thing, um, it, you know, it, it took a dump on me and I'm done with buying any more of these. Cause I, I had a Samsung G track. You know, I've invested so much money and so much crap that ends up, you know, just get rid of the damn wires and I should just throw this over my shoulder. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, sneak peek of um, what the new weather modification history.com looks like. Um, it's a quick comparison. The old categories, pluviculture, cloud seeding, geoengineering, space weather. And I had it start with the latest, um, the latest timeline entries. And I thought that it would probably be better to put it back to the old way, the original way I had it. So now it starts with the 1800s, okay? Um, and by the way, everything you're seeing right now is going to totally freaking change because I'm building an entire new um, theme for this. It's going to be super, super damn it sharp. Um, but regardless, I've simplified all of this down to just three categories. And this is going to happen on climateviewer.com as well. So it's weather modification, geoengineering, and as you can see, I've got geoengineering starting at 1887. Some of you may go, what is that? Uh, that's back when they said they were going to fire a cannon to tilt Earth's axis and melt the poles. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I love me some Tom McDonald. And by the way, Tom McDonald did give permission for you to play any of his music in your videos. And I've been like contemplating... How much can I annoy my audience by playing some Tom McDonald while I'm live and talking in one of these chat sessions? We may we may do that thought experiment in the near future because I do love me some Tom McDonald. H O G baby. Um, but anyway, weather modification, geoengineering, space weather modification covers everything. Covers all the things. Three categories. So. Weather modification history is going to be this way. Climateviewer.com is going to be this way. And I'm going to work, play it. <laughs> They're like, play it, play it. Well, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I'm going to continue to work on this. Uh, going to try to get weather mod history done in the next couple days. Because I really have to get it done. Um, I need to move on. Um Next up will definitely be climateviewer.com. I hope to be having my latest video in like a slider on the front page so that I don't even have to update articles. I'm probably going to delete most of climateviewer.com. Just being real with you. Because I have, on weather modification history, there was over 18,000 reference links, meaning links to external websites. So it's taken me a year to get this website to where it is right now. And I literally have two timeline posts left to go. And everything that was there is now in <laughs> you're getting censored. We're getting tired. <laughs> it's about right. Um, 
I'm going to, I'm going to keep working on this thing. Um, but like I said, you know, a year and 18,000 reference links going and making sure that if they were deleted, that I could get a backup from archive.org, change the links, make them all text so they're no longer hyperlinks. So the YouTube SEO algorithms and all that stuff doesn't flag my website as linking to malware. So that Google Scholar and all of the, you know, you know, learned people end up finding the weather modification history timeline because it's in proper format with proper citations and all that stuff. Um, it's already been featured in many numerous um, peer review documents, weather modification history.com. So I want to take this up to the next level. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Mad Jeep, you're killing me, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to, with, with, like I said, um, weathermodificationhistory.com has 18,000 external links, um, reference links. And it took me a year to go through and get to the point where I'm at. Climateviewer.com, there's only 152 timeline entries right now. There's 370 plus articles on um, climateviewer.com and over 50 something thousand reference links. So the ability for me to go back and check 50,000 plus websites and then turn that all into MLA format is not a thing. That is not a thing. So what I will do is I'm going to make sure that every single page on climateviewer.com is on archive.org. Um, some of them I may just directly, re, you know, literally put a server redirect in. So if somebody clicks an old link and tries to go to the article, then it's going to send them directly to the archive and they can get it that way. I don't know what that'll do for the search engines out there. It might break the internet. Um, but regardless, everything's going to be condensed down into the three categories. Like I said, weather modification, geoengineering, and space weather modification. So I'm going to have a frequently asked questions page that has all of the questions and answers for somebody who's brand new to the subject. And then go to climateviewer.com and get the overview of those three topics, plus still be able to see the other topics, uh, pollution, privacy, and propaganda. So you're going to have the three topics on weather weather control, climate engineering, um, pollution, privacy, propaganda, and then basically links to my latest videos so that I can concentrate more on making more quality videos, shorter videos, um, maybe even some of these YouTube shorts. Uh, who knows? We might end up on tiktok or something like that try to really wake the sheeple with some funny stuff and as colette says what about the maps last stop after i re you know mold climateviewer.com into something small and understandable and not this monstrous volume of broken links um i will be working on climate viewer 3d and that's going to be the toughest that's why i saved it for last because I am dying to make new maps. I need to make new stuff, but I cannot continue to have a broken mess of the past decade um, to build off of. I kind of feel silly going on the higher side chat and tenfold hat dot, um, podcast. And everybody, you know, I even had somebody recently say, I can get you, you know, in touch with Joe Rogan. And I was like, Hold up. <laughs> Not yet. Let me finish my stuff because you only get one chance to, you, you get one chance to make a good first impression. So I want to make sure that all my ducks are in a row, all my feces are consolidated, and then we're going to be able to really shake the sheeple um, with all of this information. So any support you guys can give me, I'm just going to throw it up there one more time. I greatly appreciate it. Um, 
I really do want to, yeah, I need new stuff, you know, like Mad's saying. I want to be able to continue to spend all of my time devoted to finding out what's going on today, keeping you up to date with the latest, latest, um, you know, mapping out the craziest, you know, new uh, geoengineering projects going down, like the one that just happened off of um, Australia, the, that marine cloud brightening project thing that uh, was going down. Um, and I can't update all this stuff simultaneously if I'm constantly, you know, worried about the mess I've made over the last 10 years that needs to be cleaned up in order for us to get to the next step. So your support is greatly appreciated. Um, and I am going to, uh, oh, I still, <laughs> I still got that going in the background, but yeah, um, guys, there, there's a lot coming. It's going to take a lot of work. I'm a one man show. Um, I've been doing this for over a decade. I will continue to do this for a decade. I know TikTok is controlled by China and all the things. And I don't use TikTok. I've never been on TikTok. But guess what? There's a lot of idiots on TikTok flipping through videos. And if somehow um, a nice little funny three-minute video like, you know, having a bad weather day, well, you know, did you know people might be controlling your climate? Don't believe everything you've heard about climate change until you know about the climate changes. Check it out. Link right here. You know, things like that. Um, I'm going to explore all the options. And the, the brilliant thing about it is I've got this wife who's a genius also. And she is very organized. So you guys, I'd like for you to just, you know, send some good vibrations over there to the bedroom where my wife is right now. Um, and let her just thank her from the bottom of your heart that she's going to get me organized so that we can better be effective at waking people up to these topics. Um, and that's what's coming. So everything I'm doing is open source free of charge supported by you guys um I, I i don't even mess with any of that bitcoin stuff yet um maybe one day i'll i'll take you know digital currency but i'm gonna be straight up honest with you i don't care how much it's worth right now that shit's creeps creeps the fuck out of me um that's your tech technocrats universal monetary unit, um, digital currency of the future, um, excommunication from the digital church, if you will, for those who know their Catholic history. Um, but regardless, um, I appreciate everybody just hanging out with me this Sunday, different kind of stream, damn different kind of stream. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was because you guys in chat egging me on. I appreciate that. So I do appreciate you. And um, I'm doing all this so, so that people have the world's best reference on weather modification, on geoengineering, and on space weather control. And that's what weathermodificationhistory.com is. And I'm doing this because with this information comes power. With power comes great responsibility. So please use weathermodificationhistory.com, climateviewer.com, all the maps on climateviewer.org, all these damn videos that I've been making through sickness and in health to attack ideas, not people. Love you, mean it. Have a great week.